So, Ansu Fati has just been named the number one player on the Next Gen 2021 list. But what I'm wondering is, what happened to the 2018 crop and how do they perform in Football Manager 21? Let's find out. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Frankly FM84 and in today's episode we're going to be doing a little experiment that revolves around the next gen series of players. As you may have heard me say at the start, Ansu Fati was recently crowned as the next gen winner for 2021. So it got me thinking, what happened to the players of 2018? In this episode we are going to have a look back at a handful of players running down from number 50 to number 1 and see how they get on in Football Manager 21. Before we jump into the list though, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help the channel out. Let's jump into this list. In this list, we will be starting at number 50 and working our way towards the number one ranked player from 2018. So in this list, number 50 overall was Yassine Adli, who at the time of writing was playing for Paris Saint-Germain and was said to be one of the jewels in their crown for the youth development. What we will do is jump forwards into Football Manager to 2026 and see how he has developed as a footballer and whether we think that next-gen ratings may have been a little low, a little bit high, or whether they got it about right. So you can see by looking at his stats in 2026 that he is now rated as a 138 current ability player. He is valued at 21 million and is playing for Atletico Madrid. When we look at his technicals, you can see he has good first touch, passing, technique or standing out and then he has good secondary stats with things like crossing, dribbling, finishing, long shots and penalty taking. When you look at his mentals he has good anticipation and he has good composure, good off the ball, vision and flair is the one that stands out with 16 so he'll be really comfortable on the ball in the middle of the park in La Liga. In terms of his physicals he has balance as a standout at 16 and then he has good acceleration, agility, pace stamina and strength so being ranked number 50 on the list may have been a little harsh to Yassin Adli overall when we get to the end of the video we're going to rank all of these in the order of current ability of this version of Football Manager I do know that some of these players may have different outcomes on different games but I think that next gen may be ranked him a little bit lowly and he has maybe outperformed his ranking of 50th on the list in 2018 The next player on the list ranked at number 45 on the next gen list for 2018. He is Ezekiel Barco. In real life, he had just moved to Atlanta United for 13 million euros. He's effective as a Trey Cortista, but can also play on the flanks and turned in some real good performances for Independiente before he moved to the MLS. Let's have a look at how he develops in Football Manager. You can see in 2026 he is now a 27 year old player valued only at 5.25 million and he has a current ability of 131. When we look at his stats they've not fantastically developed over the period of time. He doesn't really have any standouts for his technical but he's solid all around with good penalty taking, technique, corners, crossing and dribbling. For his mentors he has Three good standout stats of Bravery at 16, Determination at 18, Flair at 16. He also has some solid stats elsewhere in that category. And when you look at his physicals, you can see that he has good agility, he has good natural fitness, he has strength, stamina and pace all to go with it. When we look at where he ranks on the list and then the way he's developed in Football Manager, he may have been ranked a little bit harshly. But I don't think he would have been troubling anywhere inside of the top 30. And 45 is probably a fair evaluation of where he should have been on the list. Up next on the list of 2018 Next Gen players was Brahim Diaz. He ranked at 39 on the list. And as we all know, Pep Guardiola finally got his hands on him when he took him to Manchester City in real life. He then moved on. And let's have a look at how he develops in Football Manager in 2026. So you can see that he's now playing for AS Roma. His current ability is shot up to 151. Still only 26 years of age. 
when we look at his stats, you can see that in terms of technicals, he has good dribbling, he has good technique, they are the standouts. He also then has good first touch, good passing, good penalty taking. In terms of his mentors, Flair is the one that really stands out at 17. He has good anticipation, bravery, composure. He has good off the ball. Vision, work rate have all developed really well. When you look at his physicals, you've got agility standing out at 17. He has good acceleration, pace, stamina, natural fitness and balance. All the attributes you really need to be playing one of those attacking midfield roles to really influence the games. When we look at his current ability of 151, you have to say that maybe the next gen rankings really did underestimate what he could become. There was a big buzz about him in real life and maybe he didn't live up to that hype. But certainly in terms of the game, a 151 ability is the best on the list so far. And maybe he should have been ranked slightly higher. The next player on the list is Alexander Isaac. He ranked at 31 on the next gen list in 2018. In real life, he had not long moved to Borussia Dortmund. And it says that he was learning from Pierre-Emerick of Bamiyang. And when Aubameyang moved on, they hoped that he would step into his shoes. Let's have a look at how he develops in game and see what we think of him there. So you can see he's now 26 years old in the game. His current ability is 166. So I think next gen maybe I've got this one wrong. When you look at his overall stats in terms of his technicals, he has first touch that stands out with 16. Technique is 17. He has good dribbling and finishing. He has good passing and penalty taking. When you look at his mentors, he has really good flair at 17, off the ball is 16, vision at 17, and then really solid other stats in the mental category. And when you look at his physicals, he develops into a beast in the game. He has 16 pace, 17 jumping reach, 17 agility, and 17 acceleration. He also is rounded out with balance of 15, natural fitness of 15, and strength may be the only thing that lets him down, but even then it's a 12. So looking at his overall player profile you can't help but think next gen might have got it wrong when they were ranking him so low in 2018 now he is a 26 year old and has developed in the game you have to say surely should be challenging for the top 10 looking at his current ability of 166 maybe he won't get any better he may have a couple of more current ability points to squeeze out of there given his age but i think if you've signed alexander isaac in football manager 21 you'll be smiling if you see this development. In at number 26 on the next gen 2018 list was Rafael Leo. He is a player who was playing for Sporting Lisbon and in 2018 they thought so highly of him they scrambled to get his release clause from 45 million to 100 million to try and fend off the interest that was coming from some of the biggest clubs in Europe. If we have a look was that move justified? You can see he's now playing at Chelsea. And at the age of 26, he has a current ability of 154. When you look at his stats, it's a bit of a mixed bag. In terms of his technicals, he hasn't developed as much as you would have thought. He has dribbling of 15. He has technique of 15. He has crossing, finishing, heading. They're all good stats. Nothing really stand out. When you look at his mentors, he has anticipation, composure. Flair of 15, off the ball of 15, vision of 14. But in terms of his physicals, he really is a player that has excelled there and not maybe in other places. He has acceleration of 17, agility of 16, balance of 17, jumping reach of 16, natural fitness of 16, strength of 14 and stamina of 13. They are maybe some of the most impressive physical stats you are likely to see from a player in the game. However, as a left winger, not too sure whether raw physical stats outweigh his technicals and mentals i'm not too sure at that but when you look at his overall current ability of 154 next gen have probably got this one around right maybe they underestimated him a little bit but i think he's a decent enough player at 26 on the list if he was to go and buy him he would cost you 64 million so sporting were also right to go and move that release clause Number 16 on the list was Maximiliano Romero. He is a player who was set to move to PSV before a knee injury when he was playing in Argentina for Vélez Sarsfield. 
He then, however, did make the move eventually in real life. And let's have a look at how he ranks now in 2026 in Football Manager 21. So you can see that in terms of his stats, he hasn't really developed as you would have liked him to have. He is 27 years old. He has a current ability of 136, which is a little bit disappointing considering he was 16th on the next gen list. When you look at his overall technicals, he has good heading, passing, penalty taking, technique. Nothing that really jumps out at you or stands out, but they're all solid enough. He has solid mentals with off the ball, standing out at 16. For a striker, you'd want him really to be able to position himself well in the box. In terms of his physicals, he has good acceleration, balance, pace, stamina and strength. Uh, we, when you look at where he's playing now, he's playing at Independiente, so back in Argentina. Overall, I think that with a 136 current ability, you would have expected more from Romero as he ranks so highly on the next gen list. I think this might be one that they got wrong. So up next is Malang Sar. He rated 13 on the next gen 2018 list. When you look at his little right up here, it says that he's basically compared to Samuel Umtiti and most of Europe's big clubs were tracking him at some point. He did have a bit of an up and down start to his career in and out of the Nice squad. So when we jump forwards into the game and have a look what he looks like in 2026, you can see he has a current ability of 136. He's now 27 years of age, valued at 15.75 million, and he's playing in the Premier League for Crystal Palace. When we look at his developed stats, you can see that there's nothing really spectacular going on in his technicals. He has good tackling, good passing, good heading. He has first touch that's okay. Marking's good. Nothing really jumps out at you and says this is a wonder kid. When you look at mentors, he has decent enough bravery. He has good determination, teamwork, work rate, vision, all the bits that are needed for a player of his ability. And then when you look at his physicals, he has acceleration of 14, agility of 15, balance of 15, natural fitness is a standout at 16, and he has pace of 15, stamina of 15, and strength of 13. When we look at the hype that surrounded him and the write-up said that most of the big teams in Europe were going to come and look at him, I don't think he's really lived up to the hype. Only a current ability player of 136 and playing for Crystal Palace. No offence to Crystal Palace, they're not a Barcelona which is where Samuel Umtiti was playing at the time. I think Next Gen have got this one massively wrong. He should never have really been in that top 20 bracket and is a player that if you've signed on Football Manager 21, looks like he will be solid but not spectacular. Next up on the list and um, coming in at number 9 on the Next Gen 2018 list was Dan Axel Zagadou. He is a player who left Paris Saint-Germain's Youth Academy and ended up at Dortmund. They were chuffed to have been able to get him on a free transfer. At the time of writing, he was France's under-19s captain. Let's see if he lived up to the hype in the game. So when we jump to 2026, you can see he's a 26-year-old central defender with a current ability of 157. And when you look at his stats, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. His technicals are nothing to shout about whatsoever. He has good first touch, heading, marking, passing. His tackling is good at 15 and his technique is good at 13. But when you look at his mentals, he has composure of 17, concentration of 17, decisions of 16, positioning of 16, and solid other attributes in that area. And in terms of his physicals, this kid is a specimen. He has strength of 18, jumping reach of 18, pace of 16, and then solid other stats to pack that out. He isn't going to be shrugged off the ball at any point, and he should have no problems just shrugging attackers off. Judging his ability against these next-gen standings, I see why the hype was there, and I think this is one that they got absolutely spot on. If you signed him for your team, and he's a name that you may not have come across before, I certainly hadn't until I looked at the list, you'll be pleasantly surprised when he turns into a beast defender for your team. So the penultimate player we're going to be looking at on this list, ranked at number 7 on the next-gen 2018 rankings, 
He's Ben Woodburn. He plays for Liverpool. He was their youngest ever goal scorer when he scored in 2016. And it didn't really work out for him in real life. He hasn't hit the heights that Liverpool may have wanted. But let's have a look at him in Football Manager in 2026 and see whether he has outdone himself in the game. So you can see at the age of 26, he's now a current ability player of 122. He's currently playing for Derby County. And when you look at his stats, there is nothing really here to suggest that there was so much hype about this kid. I feel quite sorry for him because in real life, there was a lot of expectation and his in-game stats probably reflect what have happened in the real world. So when we look at his technicals, he has good dribbling, he has good first touch, good passing, good technique. He has good anticipation and composure. He has good determination and flair and also vision. And in terms of his physicals, he hasn't really developed. Maybe a little bit weak with strength of 9, stamina of 10, pace of 12. Agility of 14, acceleration of 12. When we assess where he came in the next gen rankings, we really all did have high hopes for Ben Woodburn. And Liverpool, when they put him into the first team, seemed to have a real star. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have worked out. Next gen bought the hype. The real thing didn't live up to it. The final player on the list and the one that comes in at number one, the winner of the Next Gen 2018 award is Justin Clivert. He is a player who was born into a footballing family thanks to his dad Patrick and was tipped by a lot of people inside of Holland to be the next big thing, with many of them even comparing him to Neymar. So let's see, did he live up to the hype? When we jump into Football Manager 21, let's have a look at him in 2026. You can see that he is now a 27-year-old attacking midfielder right or left. He has a current ability of 158. When we look at his stats, you can see why he's rated 158. He has brilliant dribbling, first touch and technique in terms of his technicals. He has good flair and solid mentals with aggression, composure and vision all standing out too. When you look at his physicals, he has good acceleration, good agility He's a lightning quick player with 17 pace. He has good natural fitness. Strength might be a little worry with a 9. But overall, once he knocks the ball past the player, he's going to be beating him in a foot race anyway. To sum it up, I think Next Gen got this one right at the time. There was such a big buzz around the player. In terms of Football Manager 21, he may not have developed as much as some of the other Wonder Kids. Certainly Alexander Isaac was the one that you could compare him to. And Isaac was rating a lot lower in the list than what Clivert was. But if you've signed him in the game, you're not going to be disappointed. You put him up against any defender and he's going to be skinning them. He will get goals. He will get assists. And I'm pretty sure he'll be on a lot of winning teams. So finally, a quick rundown of the list of 10 players that you have just seen and their current abilities. And we've ranked them in order of what those current abilities are. So starting at the bottom, number 10, Ben Woodburn didn't develop as we thought he would. He has a current ability of 122. Next is Ezekiel Barco with a current ability of 131. Malang Sar and Maximiliano Romero are next on 136. Yassine Adli is next on 138. Brahim Diaz comes in at number 5 with a 151 current ability. Rafael Leao comes in next at 154. Dan Axel Zagadou is at number 3 with 157. Justin Cliver, who actually won the award, comes in second at 158 current ability. But Alexander Isaac is the player from this crop of players who develops by far the best in the runs of Football Manager 21 that I have done. And his current ability on a few of the saves that I have seen around the age that he was is 166. And he's a player that you should be signing for your team. That rounds out the 10 players that I selected from the 2018 Next Gen list. Let me know what you think of the players that are selected down in the comments section below. Let me know if there's a player on the list that I maybe missed or overlooked, whether you think the current ability or potential ability of another player might have suited the list better. If you don't mind hitting the subscribe button and the like button to help the channel out, that would help so much. Until the next video, thank you very much for watching. I've been Frankly FM 84 Take care and stay safe.